we have got the gift wrapping guru with us today. She is wrapped from everybody from Victoria Beckham to the Queen. Oh, yes. Well done. Yes. Jane Means, it's lovely to have you back. Thank you. Uh, there will be a lot of people who are probably wrapping presents as we speak, watching us and going, oh, I hate doing this, or it's so difficult. So you've got some good tips for us. Everybody this year is talking about recycling and maybe we should be careful about how much wrapping paper we use, be more kind of eco-friendly. Yeah, that is a huge trend. And I think it is about time we sit up mm. and say, let's not use too much packaging mm. if we can help it. And also, you know, brown paper does look great. You don't have to go for the sparkles and the, you know, the well, foil brown paper wraps. looks great if you then dress it up. Yeah. I mean, for instance, I mean, I've actually bought some brown paper from a supermarket, mm. but you could always use... So there's brown, brown paper, paper, which is printed. So it's pre-printed, okay. pre-printed. Uh, the one that I've done here, I've got a Sharpie pen and I've just scrawled all over it. So you could actually have personalised paper. Yeah. Um, and also white uh, art paper, typing paper. You could actually photocopy, oh, yeah. um, mm. you know, some bits and pieces on there. So, so a couple you... of our team, is it? So... Like a night out or somewhere, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but so you can have a real game. Yeah, but, but very different. That's a good uh, idea. Jane, sometimes um, what I do when I sit down, I think I know exactly what I'm doing when I cut into the paper to wrap something, and then I realise I've cut too little. I've gone, I've come up short. I thought you did the wrapping in the household. I did. Look, Jane, if only you knew the true story <laughs> of what goes on. Someone's got to wrap her presents. She can't wrap her I know, own. I know. Better be a good one. Mm. Probably send them to you. Yeah. Um, boxes. I know I'm going to speed through this, but don't have too much wrapping paper. So I've got enough to go around. I mean, I'm actually using a reversible one here mm. where I've just turned the paper over. But I think the main thing is with boxes, when you fold the side, you don't want it catching at the bottom. Right. So if you do push it down and it starts to buckle, just trim it, yeah. trim it off. Um, there has been something trending uh, this week where if you have paper that's too short, it's really annoying when this um Was oh, this happens. the diagonal thing? Yeah. I love this. It's, it's brilliant and it's sort of You've got to do this from, from above. Can you see this from above? So it's that nightmare situation right, where so you this get is that right? Oh, that would be me. Oh, no. Me. What do what I, I do, do is now? I a big, thick piece of sticky tape to cover <laughs> the gap there. I bet you get your duct tape, really, don't you? Yes. Yeah, watch so. this. This is genius. <laughs> so rather than doing that, and then you've got to add another bit of tape to it, if you go diagonally, um, I'm going to get my tape sort of ready to go. Just need a little bit of that uh, to hand. And all you do is basically bring the four corners in, um, crease the paper as you yeah. go along. Yeah. So if you do go for a slightly thicker paper, it does sort of sit. <laughs> I'm a lot better. Oh, thanks, Ruth. You're a brilliant assistant. That's Thank great. You. Thank you. You're just getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to turn it around. Get so it there. looks a bit like an envelope as I'm yeah. assembling it. Um, and I'm just going to bring this bit down like that and bring it up. And thanks, Ruth. I haven't done this for a little while, so no. I'm slightly out of practice. So I'm going to come around here. So it does look like an envelope. And then I'm just going to get my sticky. Um, you can obviously put a sticker mm. on there if you want to. Um, Do you oh, go for the double-sided so no one could see it? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to stick that down like that. I think that's genius. So many times you've so. done that, you come up short and then you find yeah. out it's that last bit of wrapping paper I that know. you particularly okay. wanted to right. use. I'm going to well, speed on. Here's right. my present for Ruth, OK? Yeah. There's 24 of those ordered. <laughs> tea towel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to just come to where you are, Amy, if that's OK. Yeah. So, on. lovely tea towel. Just pop that in the centre there. Um, sharp scissors are an absolute must with uh, with ribbons. Mm. I'm just going to cut a little bit of ribbon to get that uh, ready. And all I'm doing is literally gathering the tea towel. So you effectively get two presents. Do you get a gift as well? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So when you've spilt the wine, you've got your tea towel to mop it up. Very good. You keep gathering. Exactly, like that. Gather, and you can gather, literally gather. make sure you sort of pull it up yeah. nice and tight like that. Um, I'm going to add my ribbon Ooh. round. Oops, a daisy. I'm going to come to the plant pot in a second yeah. um, because awkward shapes um, are quite tricky, as you know, to, to wrap. So if you use something, a base like a plant nice. pot. Very nice. That's very that nice. one there. Very, very nice. What's in there? Football. OK, so same so premise. Same thing. Um, and wrap it on top of a little dish. So I've got a little dish there. Yeah. Um, but the plant pot, I mean, I've got some joggers here. And all you can do is just sort of roll them up like that. Hang on, I'm intrigued. I've never seen you do this. This is a new <laughs> okay. one for me, Jane. Right. So, yeah. So you've got a present and yep. you're going to wrap it in a plant yep. pot. So it sounds crazy, but Why? I'm literally going to roll it up. So it could be a multitude of things like notebooks and makeup and bits oh, and bobs. Is this to hide what it is? Pop it all in and then you could wrap it the same, basically, as the oh. bottle. So it's a really good way okay. of doing it. What Envelope the there, so something like clothing, really good. Bit of paper, fold it over. Um, I'm going to have to speed through this, but double-sided tape, I'm going to stick it down and then that bit will get stuck down. So you've effectively got a pillow. Maybe a little clutch bag. Yeah, you've got almost. it in one. Um, one that I made earlier is just 
just there. So you've sort of done a little pouch like that, uh, decorated with So, but then with once ribbon. you've done that, like, how are you sticking that? It's not... Um, I'm going to add double-sided tape there and stick all the, the sides. Do you know what? Can you do that? Well, I'm going to show you. This is my top tip. OK. Which I have... To, so, wrapping on your ironing board, OK? So, if you're leaning over or you're crouched down... What camera am I on? I've got a single light on here. There so you are. that one with Hello. the big red light Hello. on there. Um, the so, you know when you crouch down, your legs hurt, your back hurts? Use your <laughs> ironing board. Let's have a wide shot. Right, so, ironing board, you can do any height. So, if you're little or you want to sit, you can do that. Bring it back up again. It's at the right height. Perfect. You have your sellotape, very heavy dispenser on the thin end. All your gifts there, and then you stand like this. No backache. One-handed tape dispensing, like that. Oh, do you want a job? And you don't get a backache. <laughs> Honestly, it's the best, best tip ever. <laughs> I've done a really bad wrapping there, Jane. Don't look. Do the bike. I don't think no. we've got enough. Time don't think we've got time to do the bike. But anyway, you get the gist. We but get the gist. Every home should have a Jane for Christmas. That's what I think. You, you definitely need a Jane with <laughs> your wrapping skills. Are you single?